Boys and girls, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm gonna show you the easiest way, or the most efficient way, I should say, to remove paint overspray from your vehicle's paint. So this is a uh, Mazda Miata in black, obviously. This gentleman had this front bumper painted and they did a, from what I can tell, they did a great job painting the bumper. The problem is they didn't mask the rest of the body. So they got overspray all over the car. It's got pollen all over it right now. That's not overspray. I am gonna be polishing the car, but I just wanna show you just through the pollen. Probably can't see a lot, but it's got white overspray all over it. And I think that might've been like whatever primer they used, but so they did a great job on the bumper painting it or whatever but they didn't mask it properly and you can tell they didn't get any of that headlight masked properly so you got paint all in there and all over the headlight i gotta get all that off and then uh i'm gonna see if when we polish i can get rid of some of this oxidation on those mirrors but other than that, it's pretty straightforward. The paint's in decent shape. I've got some universal black. I'm gonna touch that area and this area up with, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it cleaned up and then hopefully you'll be able to see the overspray a little bit better at that point. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and show you what we're gonna use to fix this problem. Uh, you should absolutely, if you, if you don't know who I am, Google Gary Dean, watch the rest of my videos. If you're looking at trying to remove overspray, I am absolutely a seasoned professional when it comes to that. I have insurance companies that I've worked for. I've got detailing companies that uh, have hired me to remove overspray for them because they can't do it properly. I've got body shops and you know, lots and lots of my own customers that have had me remove overspray. So I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm talking about. I could remove overspray from anything. And I'm very confident about that. I really have focused on making sure that I am, I know as much as humanly possible about overspray removal and not damaging the surface you're removing it from. That's the most important thing. So with my Infinite Purpose Cleaner and my Japanese Ultra Fine Clay Bar, you're gonna find that we're gonna remove all the overspray from this car very efficiently, very, I wouldn't say easily because there's still elbow grease in, involved, but this stuff will retain the structural integrity of the surface you're working on. It will make sure that you're not damaging it. Uh, and those two products, the Clay Bar and the Infinite Purpose Cleaner are ideally what you should use to remove overspray. So I'm gonna show you how to do all that, but let me get it cleaned up first, and then we'll be back uh, to show you exactly how I go about it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've gone ahead and gotten started. I got the car all cleaned up, and uh, should be able to see the overspray. Still got pollen all over it, but it's got big dots, white dots everywhere. But the worst part isn't the big white dots like that one. It's all these microscopic small ones. Listen. Should not sound like that. Should be smooth like that. So anyway, I've not done this half of the hood, but I have done that half of the hood. But this segment of the video is to show you. So first of all, this is my... 100 gram Japanese imported clay bar. I love this bar for general clay barring, but also for overspray removal because it is an ultra fine bar that won't damage the surface of the clear coat, but at the same time, uh, it's really, really aggressive for an ultra fine bar. So it's awesome. It really works well. Those can be found on detailjuice.com, just like the lube that I'm using is a combination of my Infinite Purpose Cleaner right here. This is actually what breaks down the overspray uh, so that um, it's easier to come up. Um, I always recommend getting yourself some kind of nice container, not just a baggie, but a container like this, this little Rubbermaid job uh, with a screw on lid, and that's where your clay bar should live once it comes out of that package. So. We've got 
the clay here and pull a piece. This is a half of a bar. I use a half of a bar at a time. So this is that's the other new half. So there's that, and there's the new bar. I brought that out just for you to see it. So what I like to do is this is this right here is this diluted. Uh, basically, there's four ounces of uh, the concentrate in this bottle, and then I filled it up with water. These mixing bottles are also uh, available in the miscellaneous category on DetailJuice.com if you want a bottle to mix it up with. So this is in the uh, infinite lineup at DetailJuice.com, and uh, this spray bottle, like I said, is in the miscellaneous category. <clears throat> so when you clay... And I was actually testing several different things. This is not uh, the aftermath of my clay bar. I was testing a couple different things. This is the aftermath of a more aggressive purple clay. Uh, it actually does scuff the surface up pretty good. No big deal. I'll be polishing this car afterwards, after this is done. But I want to show you uh, what I've got is I've got some infinite use detail juice mixed up in this bucket. And that's what will rinse out the... Uh, um clay bar with but i like to so basically lube the surface i'm working on then i'll take the uh, infinite purpose cleaner and i'll spray it on the surface just like so and then take your clay just start rubbing on the surface and this stuff breaks it right down gets it right off you just you know like i said a little bit of elbow grease and it comes right off just i mean literally just like that this infinite purpose cleaner is absolutely amazing at helping break down overspray mess Especially with this uh, ultra fine clay bar. And you see all these dots? They're gone. There's so there's a dot right there. You can see that? And there's a dot right there and a couple there. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna just show you how easy this stuff just picks up this overspray. You run it over it just a little bit, and it just takes it right off, just like that. And then there's that dot right there just wipe it over the surface get another one off and then boom gone so anyway you do a one foot by one foot section at a time so 12 inches across 12 inches down and the same with the square so this is roughly one foot by one foot you do not move from that until that whole one foot square is completely free of overspray so we just look around, okay? Now, I think it's free of contamination. Oh, with the exception of this stuff down here. All right, now it's good to go. All right, that one by one section looks good to me. Before you knead your clay, after using the Infinite Purpose Cleaner, you wanna rinse it off in the bucket, okay? You don't want all that cleaner getting left in the clay when you knead it up like this because it'll start to eat the clay bar and you want the clay to last as long as possible. So anyway, you've got a cleaned up area. I did miss one spot, which I will get. In fact, I can probably get that. Yep, right with my thumb. No big deal. So one foot square area, then you move to the next one foot square area and you keep doing that until the whole car is done. So that is Infinite Purpose Cleaner being used as a clay bar lube to remove overspray. Oh, you can hear that. I haven't done this section. I mean, it's just nasty. It's everywhere. But with the IPC, I mean, it really... I have never... Look, I would talk about 
this product all day long and it being the most amazing thing ever because I engineered it. I'm the one who out put in the work to develop this product. I've been out here working my butt off to make sure this stuff is amazing and it is absolutely amazing. It takes a lot of the elbow grease out of removing overspray. So, and I've never found anything that does as good a job as this ever. And I've been doing, I've been using IPC for years. Um, I developed it about, I want to say 10 years ago. And it just, it's been improved a few times, but this stuff is absolutely amazing for overspray removal. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around the car now that I've demonstrated for you how to remove the overspray with the IPC. You literally, you clean the surface, you spray the IPC, you use that ultra fine clay bar, one foot by one foot section, and you're gonna rinse off the clay bar in your infinite use detail juice solution uh, between kneading it so that you don't leave all the cleaner in the clay and uh, basically tear your clay bar up. So I should be able to do the whole car with that half of a bar of clay. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep rolling, but that's how you use the infinite purpose cleaner to remove overspray. So I'm gonna keep cranking and we'll talk to you uh, in just a bit when I've got more of the car done. Okay, so I have done the entire hood at this point. I wanna show you, since the sun's out, see how crappy this side looks? I was trying a couple different things. I was actually comparing my ultrafine clay bar, which you see right there. Yes, it's in the package, still brand new in the package. That's why it's on the ground, guys. Don't freak out, it's safe. Um, so I was using this, uh, purple clay that I use sometimes when I mean well honestly I haven't used this in two years it was sitting in a box in my cabinet I know that it is a very aggressive clay and I wanted to compare this clay against my Japanese clay and you'll notice this side I did with the purple one and this other side I don't know if I can maybe from the other side my point is that side's not nearly as scuffed up in fact it's barely scuffed up at all compared to this side i wish i could show you in better light um so anyway this is scratching the crap out of the paint the my ultra fine clay is not and the cool part about that is when you polish to remove all of this micro marring on the surface um the fewer scratches and the less micro, micro uh, marring you put in, the easier it is to remove with just a light polish like Universal All-in-One, which is what I'll be using to polish this car, which is my standard for polishing uh, after overspray removal. It cuts well, uh, it polishes to a very high shine, gets rid of all that haze, uh, and then it will also leave behind some protection. So you're really getting a whole lot when you get overspray removal for me, because I will not only remove the overspray, but I'll also get the paint looking better than it was before I started uh, removing the overspray. So that's the process. Remove the overspray with the um, Infinite Purpose Cleaner one part product to three parts water so four ounces and then fill this bottle up with water uh, as the lube i'm using the infinite use detail juice in the bucket uh, as additional lube and to clean um to clean my uh clay bar out in between using the ipc but you can see yes it's all swirled up but it was before but this side looks really bad so that's where we're at with that. I'm gonna keep on going because what I'm doing is working fantastic. All right, so I just thought about it. I wanna do a little test for you guys. I wanna show you guys a little something. So during this video, I've showed you how I remove the overspray, but I haven't been clear enough, as clear as I'd like to be anyway, about what the IPC does for this whole situation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fine grade, ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, so I've done that part of the door. I have not done this back two thirds. 
So basically right here I have not done over to the edge and I did do half of that quarter panel already. But what I want to do is I'm hoping those dots are showing up. I can see them. So you can see them. So what I want to do is I'm just going to take the damp towel with the infinite use detail juice. This is the regular, the original infinite use detail juice. So I'm just going to I'm going to lube up that one side. I'm going to take my clay bar and we're going to remove we're going to basically try to remove this overspray. Now, this is a really heavy duty industrial overspray. Um, I believe it to be an epoxy. Um, it's really hard to remove, uh, but it's coming. So I just did that section just with the clay bar and the infinite use detail juice. Now that does work well. And with a little bit of extra work, you can make that do the trick. But where the IPC comes into play, I don't know if you can tell, it did a great job just with the infinite use detail juice, but there's still specks in it. It didn't get everything out. But you can see this side with all the contamination. Now we're, instead of the infinite use detail juice, we're gonna use IPC as the lube right here, okay? It's got our one by one section. I'm gonna grab the clay again, right here. And so now we're using IPC as the lube and it's, it's doing the work to break down the paint. Cool part about that is, that means less work for you to do. So when you're using the IPC as the lube, you have to put in less elbow grease, which is definitely a good deal. So I'm just going around this. Nothing fancy. And just getting all the contamination off I can. And then I'm gonna show you the magic. So that was IPC. The difference is considerable. So that's still drying up, but same amount of effort went into this section as this section. But if you look, all that's gone. No dots. And over here, we still have some contamination. It's not real bad. It is smooth to the touch, just like this, but you removed more in less time with the IPC than you do with a regular lube. So that's just to show you the amazing results you get by using the Infinite Purpose Cleaner uh, as the lube for your clay at one part product to three parts water. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm gonna keep on keeping on. We'll be back soon. Okay, so I got all the overspray off the car. It looks like absolute garbage right now, but it's free of overspray. I also, Got all that overspray off that headlight. Only thing I couldn't get was this white splatter right here. I might try to work on that a little bit better, but I got all of it off the headlight. Um, seemed like lacquer thinner actually worked the best. So um, now I'm gonna lay them down and then uh, get to polishing with Universal All-in-One and call it a day. But you see what it looks like right now. Walk you around. See how hazy it is and swirled up. We're gonna get some of that gone and make it look a lot better. So that's the next step is getting it polished. So I'm on that right now. So I'm right in the middle of polishing and you can see how crappy the car looks in the sun on this side and right there. But not so much on this side anymore. Looks great. It's hard in this angle to show you, but you can see how bad it looks there. Well, I can't anyway, but way better on that side. So I've got the Harbor Freight DA, uh, orange buff and shine pad, and the one and only universal all-in-one correct and protect. This stuff is amazing. It leaves an absolutely stunning gloss. It corrects very fast. I've done this whole side of the car and uh, it looks great. 
So I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Nothing fancy, not going crazy with paint correction. We're just uh, making it look shiny and better after the overspray removal and leaving it behind a little bit of protection. So that's before and after of the polishing. I'm getting back to work. All right, that's all she wrote, folks. Car looks awesome now. So I removed the overspray on the headlights. I got everything looking awesome, nice and glossy. Darkened up this old uh, paint. This uh, I believe is a 1998 Miata. And uh, the black front bumper that was freshly painted looks much, did look much darker, but now it blends in much better. Um, I filled that nasty spot in with some universal black touch up. Uh, I did the same with that spot. It was all white and broken and nasty. Let's grab a towel. Um, those mirrors came out way better. Now they're dark and black. I got the oxidation off of them. Windows look good. I'm very happy with how it turned out. No overspray. Man, the pollen and the, the dust out here is ridiculous today, but you can see all that crazy gloss looking good. Trunk lid looks awesome. Got the gloss back. All right, so as I told you, I used the Infinite Purpose Cleaner as the lube, and I used my ultra fine grade Japanese clay bar to remove all the overspray. After that, I used Universal All-in-One Correct and Pre Protect with the uh, Harbor Freight DA right there and the orange buff and shine pads. I sell all this stuff on detailjuice.com. Um, I will be putting up a, uh, a overspray removal kit so that you don't have to be wondering what it is that you need to remove all the overspray from a vehicle. I'll uh, have everything in one kit done for you. But that's it. Love my fancy hat. Uh, listen guys, if you want to learn more about paint overspray removal and my products and all of that stuff, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Send us a friend or send us a request. We'll get you in there and uh, we'll start talking and uh, get you learning about the products and processes and whatever else you need to know. Uh, my cell phone number is 813-846-4406. If you're an insurance company and you're interested in um, finding somebody who is a quality professional that can remove the overspray from maybe uh, a claim that you guys have or whatever, I'd be more than happy to, uh, if I can just assist in um, helping you figure out how to get it all removed, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, or if you'd like to hire me, um, I've got a great group of people that uh, I have trained uh, that we can basically it doesn't no job is too big uh, no job is too small one car to 200 it doesn't matter uh, I have had uh, several insurance companies uh, I've done work for them before and um, if you want the overspray removed and you want to not have to worry about it, I am your guy. I can take care of it off of any surface uh, and make it like it never happened. And that's really what you're looking to do because overspray is like glitter. It's the gift that keeps on giving and it's everywhere. It gets in cracks and crevices that you may never know it's there, but I'm the guy that can get it all for you and I can do it right. So this is a 1998 Mazda Miata, nothing fancy, as far as um it's pretty straightforward the overspray was pretty hard to get off but again with good process and product and a little bit of know-how you can really do a lot 
uh, and and really not spend a ton of time uh, removing the overspray. I probably could do uh, a vehicle like this with, well actually I, all I used was um, a full bottle of IPC, so four ounces I used on the whole car and I used a half of a bar of clay and the reality is you should throw the bar of clay away but the reality is you could still use it if you wanted to on general uh, contamination. You don't have to throw the clay bar away if it's not heavy, 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 heavily contaminated. Um, the, the right way to do it is when you get done with overspray, you should toss the bar of clay. I know some people are thinking, well, clay's expensive and uh, this and that and whatever, but the truth be told, you should throw away the clay bar when you're done with the overspray job because it's heavily contaminated at that time. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble, but I am an absolute expert at overspray removal. I had made it my job and my mission in life to practice in the real world removing overspray. And I've been doing this stuff for 25 years. I'm in the detailing industry. I've been removing overspray for at least 20 of that 25 and, um, I am absolutely tooting my, ho my own horn. I've worked really hard to get really good at overspray removal. And um, if you need me, I can help you out. So give me a call, 813-846-4406, or check out detailjuice.com, and you can buy the uh, overspray removal kit and the products to uh, get it done yourself if you'd like. And uh, if you're using my products, if you ever have any questions, feel free to just let me know, uh, or send me a text message, or call me on my cell. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day, guys.